Among the most buzzed about restaurants in New York City are The Lion and Crown, and we're joined now by the man behind those hot spots, Chef John DeLucci, who's also owner of Phil's Food and Drink. Now he's going to show us how to make one of The Lion's signature dishes, an artichoke vinaigrette salad. Hi, John. How are you? This sounds fantastic. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Now, being you know involved with these big restaurants in New York, what would you say is the yes. most fun thing you've learned about you know being a part of them? Oh, I, the people. The yeah. People are amazing and 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 so uh, so different and from all walks of life, and it's just. And I, I love that aspect of it. Yeah, I would yeah. imagine the people kind of go crazy for this artichoke salad, which yes. already they is go lunchtime. crazy in general. Yes, <laughs> it looks great. <laughs> so, what goes into this salad? Well, we have um, these beautiful California uh, baby artichokes. This is, this is in the original form, and I just sort of peeled them down a little bit and took the outer leaves off. Um, here we have some um, some pea greens, which they are look just fantastic. yeah, they're, which are really delicious. These are the pea shoots from the same. Uh, same uh, plant. Okay. Then we have these uh, um, walnuts, which are specially roasted and spiced. I have uh, some Reggiano Parmesan, which I just cut very simply with a, a vegetable peeler. Just sort of took the cheese here and just go right across to the vegetable peeler, yeah. which gives you those. I love how you peel that. Um, my vinaigrette, which we make with the um, with the uh, just the, the liquid from the artichokes. Okay. And then I have a puree, which we basically we take a few artichokes and just put them in the in the Roboku, and we make a puree for the bottom of the salad. This is great. All yep. accessible ingredients that you could sort of Very accessible, this especially this, this time of year, for yeah. sure. Okay, yeah. Okay, so what's the first step? So I'm going to take my artichokes and I'm put, put them in a bowl. Okay. I am going to take a little bit of my dressing. You can see they're all cut in half, by the way. Yeah. And I'm just going to dress them like this. Not too much. Not just too much. No, just, just, a just to coat the artichoke. Okay. I'm going to add a little fresh ground pepper. Always from a pepper mill. Don't use any other kind. Grind your own. Uh, grinder only. And uh, salt if you have it. If not, just a little a little um, kosher salt is really good. Okay, so you can just toss them right toss with your hands, with hands, get it all. Right, I'm going to add a little bit. I'm going to break these up, actually, and add a little bit to the... Now, why pea shoots instead of, say, lettuce? Uh, it just it's a little more elegant, a little mm -hmm. different. You don't see them everywhere. Um, and it has and the peas, actually, the peas, they are just come all together and give a very earthy sort of flavor, which I really like. That sounds good. So we're gonna have, yeah, we have a lot, we have, we have a lot of texture. We have a little crunch here, we have a crunch here, we have saltiness here, and we have earthiness in the artichoke, so it's a very complex sort of salad. Yeah, this all sounds fantastic. So far, so we'll see. Let's put the, so I'm just gonna Fingers take a crossed. little bit of this puree. Okay. And to start with the, putting, this, putting this down on the board. Okay. Just a little swoosh like this. All right, it's four years of culinary school, just learn how to do that. <laughs> I'm intrigued to see where this goes. All right, so now I'm gonna just toss this in my dressing, okay. and very, very delicately, I'm going to lay down my artichokes and the pea greens. Lovely. It's very painterly, your stroke. Yes. And the, um, again, you're going to get, a, a, what happens is you get the, the puree gives it one flavor, and the artichoke whole gives it another whole flavor. It's interesting that you can get such different flavors from essentially the same thing. Yes. And here's some of the shoots. I'm going to go right on top. This is looking better and better. And then my nuts. Are right now the right nuts, here. I know you did a, a pre-roasting with we some did. special ingredients. Yeah, some secret ingredients. You're guarding those which, secrets uh, like Fort Knox. Yes, so I don't exactly think you're right. Tell me what you'll they taste are. one, and you'll you can probably guess what's in it. And then the final is going to be some of this just Parmesan, just sort of strewn over the top. I can't guess what it you is, can't. but it's okay. delicious. So right, it makes good. me want to really sample the salad. Delicious is what's in there. This looks fantastic. And there you have it. And I'm just Wipe it's perfect hands. for lunch, or maybe if you're having some friends over for dinner, you want to impress. Sure, a cocktail party. Why not? Thanks for showing us how to make this. You're very welcome. Perfect for fall. Nice to be here.